Hey, yeah, thank you for having me and happy, to, happy new year to you as well. And um, yeah, I mean, we're, um, we're doing well, I think. I just got to Pepperdine last night and had the Corona test. So I'm quarantining until I get my results and hopefully that all, all goes well. But yeah, I'm really happy to be back and excited to be back as well. So um, yeah, just looking forward to get started with everyone and um, get all of the testing out of the way to finally be able to be with the team. Well, welcome back to Malibu. I'm sure you guys are excited to all be back together. You guys have been separated from you know each other for quite a bit. How excited is the team? You know, What's the anticipation like knowing that you guys are just a week away from the season and a lot of you guys just got in town? Yeah, uh, as you said, like a lot of us uh, just got to town and it's a really like quick turnaround because um, it's obviously been more difficult to get to the US, especially for our team with so many international guys with um, the new rules with COVID and traveling being more restricted. But I think our coaches did a great job uh, helping us um, all get here and doing the organizational part of that that aspect. And um, yeah, I think now it's just uh, time to really log in and focus on training and do the best we can every day to really be happy uh, to really be ready for the season starting in just a week so it's really a quick turnaround but um, I think if we do a good job mentally um, we can still make the most out of it. And then walk us through that training I know you know with the holidays just ending and you guys not being on campus how have you managed to stay in shape leading up to this year? Yeah, so for me, it's been actually um, quite good because back in Germany where I trained, we, we had our preseason going as normal because uh, we were allowed to practice. And so I've been, I think I've been in good shape and I've practiced a lot leading up to the season. And then also I've been in uh, Florida this past week training there as well. So um, yeah, in my situation, uh, I think I've been pretty fortunate to be able to train full time basically. But I think most of our guys have been um, working well. I know some of our guys already came in the fall and practiced with the coaches already. So I think from that standpoint, we are doing quite well. So um, yeah, I hope that will show off in the court as well. The team is pretty stacked this year. Every single player is returning plus two new guys. Can you maybe talk us through that roster and what you like about it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think... Um, Obviously, it's, it's great having uh, new guys coming in. Um, I think we're getting um, Guy, who's uh, from the Netherlands, who's a pretty good prospect, has done really well in the juniors. He's been around like the top 20 in the world in juniors. Obviously, has done well recently, and I'm excited to see how he will do, and I hope he can do great things on the court for us immediately. I think he's, uh, you know, has an immediate impact to make us stronger, um, no matter where he's going to play in the lineup. And also the other guys that are coming uh, are going to, I think, have a great impact, not only like doing the matches, but also for practice. I think, in my opinion, it's important to have a competitive team. So even in practice, all the guys have to be motivated, obviously, and have to be um, ready to compete for every spot. And uh, it's great to, to have so many strong guys so that nobody really is guaranteed any spot. And um, yeah, just in... And that way, I feel like everyone's forced to do better, to push harder and um, not to yeah, be uh, just resting on their on what they did previously or whatsoever. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about the squad we have this year and I hope that we can all like put it together well as a team. And then you yourself have been on a dual winning streak also having gone undefeated in dual singles last season. How happy are you with your performance and how do you hope to maintain that into the rest of the year? Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously last season uh, was going pretty well for me individually, but also for the team. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy about that. But obviously this is a complete new season. It's been almost a year since, since we last played uh, a dual match. So obviously, as I said, you can't rest on these results you had in the past and it's a new beginning. You have to basically start from scratch and give it all you have so that you can um, maybe maintain that winning streak or, you know, even extend it if possible. But um, I'm trying not to think about it and just see every match as a new beginning. Um, and then they are trying to give my best to hopefully help the team as good as I can. 
Awesome. And then the Pepperdine invite coming up here shortly, starting January 15th. You guys will start this season against UCLA, following that up with number one USC the following day. What do you like about this competitive start to the season and how happy are you to have it at home? Yeah, I mean, what I really love about that, um, when I got here two years ago, the team wasn't as good as it is now. And obviously we weren't as good in the rankings as we are now. So now like the big teams like UCLA, you see they are, they are looking to players, they're willing to players, which wasn't the case, I think, a couple of years ago. So that's a great feeling, you know, um, putting Pe Pepperdine back on the map and like belonging into that circle of bigger teams in college tennis. So I think that's a great sign that these teams are willing to play us. And also shortly after that, we have the kickoff coming up for the national indoors. So I think it's a really great, you know, um, opportunity to, to test against such strong teams as UCLA and USC. Obviously USC is number one in the country because in the kickoff, we will play um, a and in the first round, who's always a top 10 team. So I think it's actually smart scheduling from our coaches to have such strong matches just before that so we get used to the level and um, yeah I think in, in any way you look at it it's a it's a great thing.